Mm, it's crazy. I think uh, the Big Ten is arguably one of the best conferences um, in the country. So, um, you know, a lot of great players have been through it. A lot of players are going to continue to uh, come through it. Um, and, you know, it's hard-nosed football. So um, just playing playing with great effort and stuff is just going to translate to the NFL. Have you met with the Eagles yet? I have not. I think the biggest thing is just staying positive throughout throughout um, all the things I faced in my life, um, and just to keep working. Um, you know, just being sad and moping around is not going to change anything. So. Uh, my go-to move would probably be the stab club. Yeah. Uh, just, just who I am as a person, um, a high, high character guy, um, and just that I, I'm, you know, if you ask about me, my work ethic uh, speaks for itself, and you know, I want to bring the same thing to those kind of programs. You reduced inside some of that college level one passing down. Do you envision yourself doing that at the NFL level? I feel as if I can. Uh, I mean, I'd be willing to do whatever the coach asks me to do. So um, wherever he wants me to line up is where I'm going to line up. Um, and he's going to get the most out of me in that position. What's the potential of Pat that you thought on the Excuse me? What, do you have any thoughts on Pat that you thought on that maybe Gronk doing? Oh, Pat, Pat's phenomenal. Um, and I think, I think he's the best tight end in the country. So um, he's going to come out next year um, and dominate just like he did this year. I definitely think he's like a, he's like a baby Gronk, you know. Yes, sir. Uh, coach, playing for Coach Spencer um, since I was since I was recruited is everything I, I thought it would be. Um, the man has been instrumental in my life. Uh, I consider him to be part of my family. So uh, I got a deep bond with Coach Spencer. I always have so much love for Coach Spencer, um, and I, I thank him for my three years at Penn State. So him and Coach Franklin. I mean, I I, I, I wouldn't mind playing for him again. I definitely I definitely wouldn't mind that. So. The chaos, I mean, it's exactly what it sounds like. Um, the dude is everywhere um, and just, he just brings the intensity um, and, he, and he's a great motivator. He motivates guys, you, you, wanna, you wanna give your all, you wanna do your best for that guy. Um, he's someone who really brings the best out of people. The New York Giants, I have not. Uh, I mean, I, it'd, be, it'd be great to see him again. Um, and get a chance to speak with him and, and uh, introduce myself to the, to the rest of the coaching staff there. So, uh, I mean, I, I definitely would look forward to it. What's the most unusual question you've got so far from the team? Most unusual? Um, I don't really think I've got anything out of the ordinary yet. Yeah, no, nothing crazy. Uh, just the regular stuff about, you know, college and my schemes, stuff like that. So, it's all been pretty, pretty uh, relaxed so far. I, I had a meeting with the Packers, yes, sir. It was a formal. I say it went well. I mean, I hope they think the same thing, but I say it went well. Uh, yeah, I'd have a formal with the Bills, too. I th um, I, it, went, it went well. Uh, it went very well. Um, so I was pleased. I think all the formals I went through so far have gone pretty smoothly. Have you met with the Bucks at all? Uh, no, I have not. I have not met with the Bucks yet. Yeah, um, I think just just remaining remaining yourself, um, remaining who I am. Uh, I've always been someone who's been willing to work uh, and expectations. You know, you're gonna have expectations. You guys gotta go out there, and you know, you give, you give all you got. Um, and at the end of the day, I'll, I'll be happy, whatever, whatever that is. Ten. Yes, sir. Twelve. Yeah. 
Uh, no, it's not. It's not. I don't think it's tough because if I didn't have the formal interviews, I'd be having for, uh, informal interviews. So it's like one way or the other. Um, but I mean, it, it's cool though uh, to get a chance to uh, go upstairs and talk with GMs and head coaches and stuff like that. People you see on TV and you saw those little kids dreaming about, um, and finally, finally getting to shake their hands and introduce yourself uh, has been exciting. Um, my favorite memories. I probably just say like like the camaraderie. Like I, I was his quote unquote bodyguard in college. You know, and we used to always joke around like that, and uh, we used to joke around on the field a lot. So I say that's probably like the biggest thing. He always someone who smiled a lot too. So he always made it made it made it fun. Like when we get into the locker room and stuff, he just be like, oh, that's my bodyguard. He, and we just, it was just a, just a little inside joke. Um, kind of wild at times. Um, I play, I play uh, like I really, like I really want to get to the ball. So, um, I mean, I've been, a, if you ask uh, my coaches or anything like that, I've been an effort guy all my life. So, I mean, that's how I describe my game. Uh, I mean, I've been uh, compared to a lot of people, but um, I, don't, I don't really compare myself to, to anybody else. Um, you know, my, my coach, Chris uh, Spencer in college, used to always tell me uh, just just my work ethic was something of its own, um, and that's kind of that's kind of how that's been.